What's going on, Kicks Gang? It's T Kicks back with another video. I got something really exciting for you today, as always. Something a little bit different, as I always like to kind of change things up. Um, the last video um, that I just did was a much longer one, and it, it kind of needed to be to describe the things that I've gone through and a lot of the sicknesses and disability that I had kind of gone through that led me and transitioned me and, and made me the sneakerhead that I am today. Um, I don't know if this video will be up before that one, but definitely stay posted. That is one that you definitely don't want to, you know, miss. Um, wait until you have a little bit of time to watch it. It's, it is probably going to be like 25 minutes long. Um, and it is kind of a little bit more along the documentary, um, you know, kind of stage and whatnot. But I think it's it really explains where I came from, what I've been through, and how that kind of influenced me to get really big into sneakers, hip hop, basketball, and all of that. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and get into the sneaker of the day. Uh, this definitely falls under pickups of the past. I believe this is episode seven, and this one is a Nike ID, the only one of the collection, and not because I don't like Nike IDs, but just because usually the colors that they offer or the sneakers or sneaker and color combinations that they offer are not something that I am interested or that are for me, but bam. Check these bad boys out. Now, as you guys know, I gotta go ahead and pack this in here. As you guys know, this is the Nike Hyper Dunk. I believe this is the two, yeah, 2015 series, and everything on this is Nike ID and is custom. I'm sure you can tell because I'm pretty sure you haven't seen this before. And I gotta tell you, I'm really, really proud of myself on this shoe. This was definitely one of the earlier shoes in my collection before I knew a lot about sneakers, but like I've mentioned to you guys before, especially if you have gotten a chance to see that documentary, um, coming from a place where I was never able to wear shoes, once I was able to, I wanted stuff that was crazy and that popped. So, bam, let me go ahead and give you guys a couple Close up views here. And then I am gonna go ahead and get into the in-depth review, which we definitely need to do because there's so much going on with this sneaker. And you guys have definitely not seen this before. This is a one of one brand new sneaker. So let's start. Um, we start with the full Nike Zoom here on the bottom. This is a neon yellow and glow in the dark outsole. Yes, I did go with the glow in the dark outsole. The midsole, as you can see here, is all blacked out with gold speckle. And then, of course, I went along the same lines with the gold Nike check. Um, as you guys know, this, this model of shoe used a ton of fly wire. And if you look really close, and I'm, yeah, you guys can see that. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. This design here is almost like on the Jordan 1s and the Jordan 3s. It's kind of like that laser type design. And they, they had it for a short period of time. There were like three different designs. And I had that there, and it's kind of like a plasticky kind of overlay that goes over the top. Really, really dope and adds a lot to the shoe. And then underneath, I was able to get neon fly wire to go through the see-through windows that you have here. And then those connect here to the, uh, the loops here, which actually hold on to your laces, and that's what gives you the lockdown. And if you guys can see here, here <clears throat> on the laces, they are all black laces, but they have those pink dots. They're actually pink, and they go throughout. Now, if there was a lot of pink on the shoe, it would look a little weird, but they're almost like a magenta, like a pinkish purple color, and it just goes perfect. Um, then going from there, here on the toe box, we also have that kind of digital design, and then we kind of have right here, uh, it's like a toe bump. This is just kind of for additional lockdown. Um, and this, this is really, really thick here. So this overlay that they use, this plastic overlay, um, comes to a, I'm not sure what this material is, def definitely synthetic, it's not leather or anything, but it's really, really thick. Um, and then coming onto the top, you have, like I said, um, if we flip the shoe around, 
Uh, on the inside, the fly wire is actually out, so it's actually exposed here. And then of course it goes to the loops and the laces again. Then on top, the entire tongue is like, uh, not a court purple, this is like a court purple, and then the other's more of like a magenta color. And then of course you've got the Hyper Dunk logo. And I'm trying to see, as you can see, the insole on the inside, see if you guys can see that, it says Nike ID. I'm trying to see if there were, if I had put any initials on these. I don't think that they actually offered it at that time. But then again, that comes into, yes, a purple tongue, but then as you come on into the interior of the shoe, the entire upper transitions into all purple, and then it's got these purple kind of ripples that kind of lighten in color in the back of the shoe. Then we have that black and gold midsole and then back down to the glow in the dark portion here. All these parts here are glow in the dark 3M, all these parts that you see that are neon green. Um, and then as you can see, it wraps around purple and then back to that white kind of color with that, um, that digital pattern. And so basically going into the second shoe, it's a direct, it's, it's an exact copy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even the digital designs, it's basically an exact copy of the other shoe. It's like purple on the inside, white on the outside with that neon green, the pink on the laces. You've got the zoom throughout the entire outsole on the bottom. You've got the all black Nike ID insole on the inside. And then of course the inside of the collar is just a white color. Um, they didn't have any option to change that. That wasn't one of the options on the sneaker. And then of course on the outside of the sneaker, there's a much bigger gold swoosh as well. As you can see on the inside, there's just a small one. And then on the outside, we have a much bigger gold swoosh. I really, really love these. I've only worn them a couple times. They're definitely, I wouldn't say the most comfortable in the world, but I think that's because they're, you know, they're brand new. I've only worn them a couple times and they're not fully broken in. And as you guys know with the Hyper Dunk, um, they're not as much of a lifestyle shoe as they are more performance ready. Um, even till today, most, I would say it's one of the most used sneakers in the NBA. So yeah, there's a lot of other models and stuff. A lot of guys wear a lot of different models, but overall throughout the entire NBA, I see a ton of guys wearing the Hyper Dunks. Now they have Hyper Dunk Lows. This is the 2015 model. They had a 2016, 17, and now they just came out with the 2019. Let me go ahead and give you one last look at that neon yellow glow in the dark outsole. I really, really love these. These are one of my favorite shoes in my collection. Um, one, because of the color, and two, because it was, you know, derived directly from my own artistic, you know, design that I had done. Um, and honestly, for Nike IDs, I think the colors and the designs that they've given recently are kind of boring, and that's kind of um, why I've stayed away from them. Um, but if they come back to where they're doing stuff like this again, I will definitely be on it. One last thing that I didn't mention, they almost have these like tape, they're like, it's not tape, but it's like a, um, I wish I knew what that was called. It's it's an overlay that almost looks like this here. It's almost, almost looks like a tape, like a kinesiology tape, but it holds it down and then you can see it here too. And it kind of holds the structure on top of this. Um, and then of course, what's really cool is this is kind of like plastic and covered. So there's not much breathe ability down here on the toe box um, or in the back but here on the tongue it may be kind of hard to see but it is a mesh tongue so it does breathe actually really well on the top of the shoe so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with that let me go ahead and give you guys a couple more close-up shots of the sneaker inside outside and both of the pairs again super happy to have these in the collection this was one of the early pairs um, and these will definitely not be going anywhere. They will be in my collection till the end, till the day I die, which is hopefully not for a very long time. Anyways, I'm glad you guys could join me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, smash that notification bell so you can get all my videos on demand. 
Think positive and have a great day. It's Heat Kicks. I'm out.